Hi, this video is about finding and starting your programs. Windows enables you to start programs in a variety of ways. Probably the most common of those is to click the Windows Start button and choose the program that you want to launch from the Start menu. So for example, if we wanted to start the calculator, since it is on the Start menu, we would just click it. If we don't see the, the program that we want to start in the Start menu, we can hover over all programs or click on all programs and that takes us to an extensive list of all of the programs installed on our computer. Let's say we wanted to start the calculator from here. So I happen to know that the calculator is located under the accessories folder. So I would click on accessories and again click on calculator. So that's two different ways we could start the calculator. Let's say that we couldn't find the calculator in our menu. Another way is to use the search programs and files. Type in our search term, so maybe we'll try calc. And there it is, a link to the calculator along with many other things that match our search term. So simply click on that link, and again, we have the calculator. Another commonly used practice is storing links to programs on your desktop. If I wanted to use the calculator, I don't see it on my desktop. So what I can do, Let's click on my start button, find the calculator either here or in my all programs folder and this time right click on it and send it to the desktop. So we're going to create a shortcut on the desktop to the calculator. Once I do that there's my shortcut and double clicking a program on the desktop launches the program. So there, again, is another method of getting to our calculator. Another method of opening an application is if it's located on our taskbar, we can do a simple single click to open that application. Since I don't have the calculator on my taskbar, but it is a program that I use regularly, I can take it and drag it. By dragging, I mean clicking on it, not letting go, and pulling it down to my taskbar, and you'll see the little pin to taskbar message there. And once I get it where I want it, I just simply let go. And now I have a copy of it on my taskbar. One click and it's open again. Last and probably the least common option and one that I really don't recommend unless you're really feeling comfortable with your computer. But if you simply know there's a program on your computer and you can't find it any other way, you can always run the Windows Explorer which on my computer is on the taskbar here, or in many cases it's under All Programs, Accessories, and Windows Explorer. And let's say from the Windows Explorer we want to find the calculator. So I happen to know that the calculator is on your C drive under your Windows or WinNT folder. So I will first open up my C drive by hitting that little arrow. Then I'll click on the Windows folder by hitting that little arrow. And then I'm going to go to System32. And the calculator program is in the System32 folder somewhere. So once I find it, I double click. And again, I've opened my calculator. So that's about three or four different ways to find a program and open it. That's the end of this video, and thanks for watching.